So I've been asked several times if I'm going to address the latest conspiracy on YouTube that jet engines don't use liquid fuel. Now, if that's something people want me to address, I'm quite happy to do it. I personally think it's ridiculous, and I think that any Flat Earth channel who is promoting this idea is really digging their own grave because this is just so easily disproven. And thinking about it today, I could go through a desktop exercise and show you some evidence, but I decided that I will wait until next week when I'm back at my aircraft and I can show you the fuel systems in a video. I'll show you how the fuel transfer system works, how the aircraft is refueled and how we manage the fuel to keep the aircraft balanced during the flight. Now, I was just up in Montreal, Canada, doing my annual training at the Bombardier training facility and they give you this training guide. I get one every year, so what I'll do is I'll give this one away at some point if somebody wants it just send me a note in the comments and I can post it to you but essentially what it is is a fold out of the aircraft cockpit so that you can familiarize yourself with the various switches and the locations of the different instruments it also gives you schematics of the aircraft there's the bleed air system the AC electrical the DC electrical system the engine and specifically the fuel system. Now we've got four tanks in the aircraft that I fly. We've got one tank in each wing, we've got a center tank, and we've got a tail tank. And the, the wings take about 15,000 pounds each, the center tank 10,000 pounds, and the aft tank 2,250 pounds. Now this schematic shows you the various different fuel pumps and the cross-feed systems. It also shows you the fuel recirculation system, this red line, which essentially takes heated fuel from the engine and recirculates it back into the fuel tanks to prevent the fuel from freezing at altitude. So in my detailed video, I'll go through that inside the aircraft. I'll show you how we can operate the fuel pumps. I will actually show you how we transfer fuel so there are several models of the Global Express, and this schematic is actually for the 5000, which does not have the aft tank. The correct one for my aircraft is this one, which does show the aft tank and the two AC transfer pumps, which pump the fuel into the wing. If you notice here, you will see that they are showing the baffles in the wing that essentially contain the fuel in smaller tanks that are interconnected with lots of holes and transfer pumps. I'll talk about that more in greater detail in the future. So these days the aircraft flight manuals are all available electronically and this app is called Bombardier Flight Deck which gives us quick access to all the aircraft checklists and flight manuals and here you can see we've got the XRS model, it's an Imperial, you can select metric if you prefer, the regulatory authority that you operate under, we operate under the FAA but you can select the ASA or Transport Canada and the relevant manuals and checklists are the AFM aircraft flight manual, the FCOM which is the flight crew operating manual volume 1 and 2, the flight planning cruise control manual, the quick reference handbook volume 1 and volume 2, volume 1 is the normal checklist, volume 2 is the emergency checklist, the airfield information manual, the DDG which is the dispatch deviation guide it tells you if you can depart on a flight with a minor unserviceability. The ground handling and service information manual, the ground operating checklist, the weight and balance manual, and the advisory wires. Now, what the advisory wires are is just notes that are sent out to the operators of any problems that they've noted over a period of time or any minor changes that are necessary on board the aircraft. But relevant to this discussion, Inside the FCOM, we have two pages here that show you the jet blast coming out of the engine. And you can see that's at idle power and that's at full power. And I will go through this in further detail in the longer video, but it also details how much fuel is stored in the aircraft and what types of fuel we can use. But like I said, I think any channel that is promoting this new conspiracy that jets don't use fuel, they're really digging their own grave because this is so easily disproven. And 
just do a quick search on YouTube, you can see that there is actually flame coming out of jet engines. And even if you go into the model aircraft world, just do a search for model aircraft jet engine. There are numerous videos there of small turbine engines that are absolutely using liquid fuel. So stand by for that video. I will go through it in a lot more detail when I have access to the aircraft. I'll show you the aircraft fuel system in action. I'll show you the aircraft being refueled with liquid fuel. I've been operating turbine aircraft and helicopters for many years. I've operated them from remote locations where I've had to pump the fuel in myself with a hand pump from 44 gallon drums. Jet aircraft absolutely 100% use liquid fuel. Now today I spent the day walking around New York and just bought a little top for my daughter and some souvenirs and I'll just leave you with a video from some of today's highlights. So I'm using a Bluetooth microphone so I'm not sure how the sound is going to work out but I've got a free day in New York and I'm just walking around to see some of the main attractions heading down to Grand Central Station and then I'll go to the Empire State Building. So this is the main concourse in Grand Central Station. I've seen it many times in different movies. I'm on the corner of 5th Avenue and East 33rd Street in New York, and this is the Empire State Building. This is inside the foyer of the Empire State Building before you go up to the observatory. So this is the view from the 80th floor of the Empire State Building in New York, looking out towards the Statue of Liberty. This is the back of the Empire State Building. So I'm going to walk up to Times Square now. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Go up and visit the 